Welcome. All right, Owen, kick us off. All righty. So starting off, we have story time every Tuesday morning at 1030 for ages two to five. That's you know what? You're giving some energy. I think that yeah. I think this is helping you. We'll share tales to grow love of reading and social skills through playful connection. We've also got bookworm babies, which is Wednesday mornings at 1030. And we've got music, movement, rhythms, rhymes, books and play for ages zero to two. Don't turn your head. We've got yoga at Tuesday mornings at 10. We have Zumba Tuesday evenings at 6. We have NA meetings Wednesday nights at 7. And we have A meetings Friday nights at 7. We have a special story time this Saturday with a craft at 1030 for ages 2 to 5. We've got a concert coming up with Sophia Talvik. She's an Americana and folk singer with Swedish roots. That'll be thursday march 14th at 7 p.m and then finally we're still looking for vendors for our old pioneers farmers market um reach out to the library if you have any questions or you'd like to be a vendor there's also on our uh web page website yes, yes yes you can click and find a link and it'll have all the information and it will be starting may 30th, 30th. Okay. may 30th thursday may 30th all righty oh and that was great that was wonderful. Because he forgot something. What did he forget, Emily? This Thursday, March 7th, you can come dive into the game of Uno. It wasn't on school. that copy. That's why I didn't, he didn't okay. forget it. I put it on the one that we sent to the schools. Okay. So tell us, okay, this 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 Thursday is Uno Day, 4 yep. o'clock? 4 o'clock, board 7, snacks galore. Snacks. That is the most important part of any program. Um, Emily's joining us this week because she has become our expert on Freegal. And by expert, I mean she sits at her desk and listens to music most of the day. <laughs> yeah, yep. But anyway, Emily, talk a little bit about Freegal as far as the experience and what it is and why you should be running to download it right now. Yes, Freegal is a new app that the library is giving to their patrons free of charge. Um, you just have to have your library card. You go onto the app, pick our library, uh, enter your card, and a whole list of songs comes up. All right. And yesterday, I, it launched yesterday. Mm -hmm. So yesterday I got on there and I found out that I like 16 Carriages by Beyonce. I was excited. That was my LinkedIn post. Your yes, conversation about that inspired me to write about it on LinkedIn. Yes. Um, okay, so did you have you downloaded the app on your phone yet? Not yet. Oh, and have you? Now, are you still boycotting it because Taylor Swift's music's not on it? No, so it's not a boycott. It's just, it was like, how do you not have... Well, I think one of the most influential people. In I'm, I'm, there. I'm but gonna guess as as in all decisions in life, it probably comes down to money. Probably, but like, it's probably very it's expensive to it. have. It's worth it. I'm, I'm telling you. So we're gonna we're gonna try to get Owen on board. No, I'm on board with it. I think it's a very good service. It was just it was just part of my analysis. Hey, another thing, um, and I appreciate your analysis. Uh, yeah, that's right, because the whole thing started actually with Owen reviewing this yes. and doing a paper on it. A yep. A white paper. That's uh, yeah. that's some stuff to some corporate jargon. It's a white paper. That's uh, advocating for a position. And Owen's position was we should get it. Yeah. So really, this is all based on you. You are the architect. I of, created Freegal Music. You are pretty so much. If it fails, it's on Owen. Well, of course. I mean, yeah. it, that, that, that's never getting back to me. <laughs> this doesn't work out. It's all Owen's fault. Um, but anyway, Owen was the first to kind of look into it and dig into it. And he really liked it. So we're just obviously kidding about his... His disdain on that. Now, another thing you two are working on, and maybe a little early to talk about, but is our summer reading shirt design. Yes. And no, just talk not. a little bit about, we're going to have like kind of a, just a design for this year's summer reading and the theme of it and going from there. But what I want to kind of talk to you all about is the process. Mm -hmm. And how is that going, working together? So the theme is adventure begins at your library. Great theme. Is that right, Emily? That is right. Okay. Owen. Yeah, so that's the summer reading theme, and we wanted to incorporate that into our summer reading t-shirts because we did them last year mm -hmm. as well, which I wasn't there when we started that, but they were very. I still I have one of the t-shirts. I just we focused on fabric, not design. Last yeah. yeah, it was all about <laughs> it was all about comfort. It wasn't the most amazing design on my part. Okay, so I am I am not a that will not be my thing. It was very simple, is what I'm saying, but but they were very helpful who we worked with. And so right now you all are working and plotting on that, and I appreciate that. We're um, excited. 
Good. I'm, I'm very excited. Well, and also, it's, just, it's always helpful. It's always nice when there's a theme to get excited about, too. Mm-hmm. And, you know, adventure, that's a pretty good it's yeah. a good good summer theme, a little good good idea there. Yeah. Um, okay, so Emily, let's talk about some upcoming programs uh, and outreach that you're working on. Well, this uh, March 14th, I will be at the high school again for Lunch Bunch. Thursday is a, March 14th, Thursday is a very busy day for the library. We got a lot oh, going on that yeah. day. That's like a ladies concert. Mm-hmm. We have a concert that night. We've got some meetings, which only, yeah. you know, I would care about, but that's, <laughs> it's busy for me, but yeah. So. But yep. That'll be March 14th at the Gallatin County High School Library. Mm-hmm. And it will be um, St. Patrick's Day themed. Awesome. And then this past March 4th, mm-hmm. I went to the middle school again in Miss Haddox's um, class, and we made a bucket tower. And what is – describe a bucket tower a for bucket me. A bucket tower is each group got 20 straws, bendy straws. Ooh, the cool kind. Yes, 36 inches of string, 36 inches of masking tape. And they had to construct a tower that could. Oh, I'm sorry, and a Dixie cup. Do you have Do you have pictures of some of this? I do. You so can we'll find my video on the Instagram on Emily's Instagram. <laughs> I had to slave away bundling these straws oh up. God. It was hard to put 20 straws together and put a rubber band around. It was 36 bundles of 20 straws. So, wicked stepsister, did you make Cinderella over here have to put together everything while you went off to the ball? <laughs> no. Yeah, she's she made me pick out the I'm idea. Sorry. He the... couldn't watch Hunger Games. He had to bundle straws. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Poor, poor Owen, just getting <laughs> yelled at by Emily the whole time. <sighs> but anyway, yes. But anyway, so we had a make this about Owen. A bucket tower. Yes. Bucket tower. Okay. And they had to construct it, and the winner had 99 pennies. No, 93. Mm-hmm. Sorry. 93 pennies was the most one of the Dixie Cups held. What was the feedback from the students? Did they enjoy this? They did enjoy it. You kind of keep... always enjoy what Emily brings to the library. You keep coming up with these competitive thinking things, and they seem to do really well with it. They do, actually. Okay. Um, and then I'm sorry, Emily. Did, did you mention throughout the date for your next lunch bunch? Really, Mr. Rymar? The 14th. <laughs> so it's a busy day. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit. Um, so we got went through the farmer's market information. Um, so wait, there's links people can get on? There's okay. there's all kinds of information about like um, we have our application information about what it is. If you're doing baked goods, there's like certain guidelines. Oh. There's So there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot to this. Yeah. And so that's that is all available on the library webpage. Um, did you didn't you bring a book in? I did bring okay. a book in. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about what you're reading. I am reading the housemaid secret. The housemaid secret. Okay. I read the first one, just the housemaid. Now, what genre is this? Thrillers. Is this no? Is this a YA? Oh. Is this no? A, this is an adult. Okay, this adult book, the housemaid yeah. secret. And okay, tell. I'm sorry. Now, now I'll quit talking over you. Tell me more. It is just about a um, cleaning lady mm-hmm. that finds out that the people she's working for, the women are in abusive relationships, mm. and she helps them get out of it. Sounds pretty deep. Yeah. Pretty heavy. It's good. So what do you like but about it? there's like a twist at the end. You're like, what? <laughs> Is that what said? Could you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> Emily throws down the book. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, she has more coming out. There's Who is she? One, Frida McFadden. Frida McFadden. Okay. Yes. So we have the first one, this one. We have another housemaid one. And are they? Are okay, they all? Miss Alice gets a teacher. Are they all titled housemaid? No. Okay. The other one's the teacher. Okay. Oh wait, I'm sorry. The other one's the coworker and the teacher. So they're not the same people in every novel, or is this the same? Mm, the first two are. Okay. But then the, I don't know about. The so others. you like her writing style though, mm-hmm. and it's you enjoy it, and yep. and a nice twist. Yep. So, recommendation. Recommendation. Awesome. Owen, are you reading, consuming, watching anything right now? Um, I've checked out the Twilight books because I recently Mm -hmm. watched all the movies. I haven't started. You've never read them before then? No. Okay. So I haven't started reading them, but I have just the first book, and then I think it's called Life and Death, and it's a retelling of the first book, but gender swapped. Hmm. And so, like. Okay, so this sounds very confusing. You've seen the movies. So yeah. That, so then you go get the books, which that's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then you weren't happy with, with just reading the books. You had to then read another one that's based on the book, but with different gender roles. Exactly. Well, it's it's literally just the first movie, but okay. instead the vampire is a girl, and then 
Okay. Bella. So I think it's Edith and Bo. What out of all of that? So I guess exactly. I, I can't. I'm trying to keep track. Out of all those three, what do you prefer right now? The movie, the book, and the other version. Well, I haven't of the book. started reading the books yet. So uh, you're just preparing. Yeah. You're yeah. ready to go on your reading adventure. Exactly. Following but, some. Did you like that? Yeah. <laughs> that's how we put it all together, Emily. That's big time what we yeah. do here. But no, I really enjoyed the movies. I don't know how I've never watched them before. Like it was so good. The Hunger Games is still my favorite. Movie how long ago were those movies out? I was going to say, probably a lot longer. Yeah. They've been like around for 2008, so 2008, I think, is when oh. the first one came out. Yeah, I would maybe. not have guessed that right. Um, and then right now, I'm also reading... Put up here, let's see. Be Useful, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Seven Tools for Life. And the problem with this is, and it's not a problem, but I've just seen a lot of interviews with him on podcasts and different things like that, so it's it's kind of ruining some of this book to me because I know the stories. But but it's good to read it. And, and the problem, though, or not a problem once again, but just his... When you hear his writing, you can hear his voice. Hear his writing. When you read his writing, you can hear his voice. Are you going to do your impression? I am not going to do the impression. Come on. All right, you guys have a good week.